What's up my fellow GT Sport fans? I'm Gaming Seth. Thanks for watching another video. Today I'm really just going to be covering uh, how to create a carbon fiber hood or carbon fiber wing, stuff like that that are more common. Um, I've seen this question pop up a few times so figured I might as well go through it. Really the first thing you have to do is either create or download a carbon fiber decal. So for this we're going to go to our discover section and scroll down to decals and then go to search and we're basically just going to look for carbon you can look for carbon fiber you can even search like any combination of those words but um, we're just going to go straight carbon and that's it simple i'll look what kind of results this gives me and hopefully we find something that's at least usable uh, there's going to be plenty of options i know that um, you can see here, I got a bunch of crap, the logos and stuff, uh, this one that looks really weird. So we'll have to look a little farther back, uh, make that a little farther back, and here we go. This one should do, it looks like it's a see-through one, so um, this will basically take on the color of your car and um, just kind of give it a colored carbon effect, if you will. So. Now we just go to livery editor and what we have to do here is create a new uh, livery and it'll give you the option to choose whatever car you want. We'll just go with the 458. It has a pretty simple hood so it'll be good for illustrating this. Um, yeah, so now uh, we're not really interested in the paint so we'll just go straight to the decal, scroll down to the hood section and add a layer. You can apply it based on the camera angle and all that stuff. I'm just going standard, uh, scrolling over to the collection and choosing the carbon fiber that we just added. You'll see it's small, um, so you can either enlarge it and make it, you know, cover the entire thing with a single swatch, or um, what I like to do is basically just copy and paste and repeat the pattern over and over till I cover the whole space. So in this case, um, we'll, we'll need quite a few of these squares since it is on the smaller side. Um, but this is completely up to you. If you want a really tight carbon fiber look, then you can actually shrink the, the decal and make it even smaller. Obviously, you'll need to copy and paste it a lot more. But um, yeah, you can get completely different results and different styles by basically just altering how the uh, carbon fiber is applied so it's actually a really cool thing um, I love this feature in Gran Turismo and a thank you to everyone that uploads decals on the GT Sport community fantastic work um, and it's a huge help to all of us creators so uh, thank you very much please continue to do so um, yeah, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm just filling up all of the uh, the hood space um, You can see once you go outside of the hood lines It does not matter the the decal you apply here in this case the carbon fiber is not going to be applied to the body of the car So if you want the carbon fiber look on the entire car you have to go You know to each of the panels and apply it um, in this case like I said, I'm just doing the hood so I'm just kind of moving some of them I'd have to tweak and rotate a little bit to fit the lines. Um, you can be as picky or not about this. Um, I personally don't like this see-through carbon. Um, the only time I've used it is I believe when I did the uh, one of the Bugatti liveries um, that had the exposed blue carbon fiber um, and then I did the Aston Martin uh, Cyrus from Mansory and that one also used it but um, usually my personal preference is to go with an already um, basically not see-through version of the carbon fiber um, but the cool thing about this see-through version is that if you apply for, in my example if I don't want it to be red I can just apply a really big patch and color it and then I'll just move it to the very bottom so it's it's the very first layer and you can give it that carbon fiber look anyway um, it's just one extra step I personally found that the um, already complete carbon fiber uh, decals are usually the best for me to use um, I like them because they cover really well and they're a lot easier to align 
um, you notice here when the two layers overlap you have an issue where you basically create a double uh, carbon fiber look so it's really really dark black lines um, but again in my case I like to use this version that is already gray and black and just duplicate that one over and over and you can see I'll change the color here to something really bright um, it doesn't show through this so it doesn't uh, it doesn't affect what your base color is um, yeah it's really cool anyways it's the exact same process is just duplicating it um, seeing if you can align it as close to possible and um, repeating the process till the entire panel is full basically what you get at the end of that is um, something that looks a little more like this and gives you a complete carbon fiber hood look it's the exact same process no matter what part of the car you're doing if you want to do a carbon fiber wing or a roof or whatever it may be it's the same so uh, yeah this is basically it thank you so much for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed the video